When do you expect it to be released? Uh, I think we announced on October 19th. Okay. So how much do you know about Fallout 3 or New Vegas? I played, shit yeah, I played a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so New Vegas is obviously in Southern Nevada. Um, it's kind of a continuation in some ways of stuff that happened in Fallout 1 and 2. Excuse me, Fallout 1 and 2. So we have the, the strip here is at the center of Vegas. Outside is ruined. Inside still has power. The casinos are running, run by the different families. Um, so here, here's our Las Vegas Strip. Um, we talk about in uh, Fallout New Vegas that uh, Vegas itself was never actually hit by nukes. So we do have a fully functioning strip. We have power. As I said, Hoover Dam is a big part of our game. Um, and uh, control over Hoover Dam kind of forms the backbone of our storyline. Um, so we have several casinos. We have the Gamora. It's kind of our mafia-themed casino. We have the Tops. That's our Rat Pack style. Uh, we've got Vault 21, which is an old vault that's been converted into a theme hotel. Uh, we have the Ultralux, which is our high-end kind of shishi casino. Uh, and I'm just going to head on into the tops here. So all our casinos, they are full casinos. You can gamble. Um, you know, you don't have to gamble, but it is something you can do in the world. Uh, we have blackjack, we have roulette, uh, we have slot machines, uh, we have a new game called Caravan that's played outside of casinos out in the wasteland. Um, and these are, you know, again, not a major part of the storyline, but there's something that players can do for fun. So I'm going to just head on in and play a little bit of blackjack. So gambling is determined by your luck stat, and my character actually I have is a very, very high one. So you can see here, I've already got a 20 showing. Hey, and I won. And I'm going to win again. It's your lucky day. Exactly. Uh, it's an RPG, so it's all determined by stats. And just like a real casino, as you do well, you'll get comped by the by the, the manager here. So I did a little, I, you know, I won a few rounds. I just got a free drink. Uh, you'll get a free meal. Uh, they'll comp you a suite. But eventually, though, you will break the bank and you'll be asked to leave. So I'm actually going to cheat here. This is a debug command we built in for the demo. Uh, normally, it'll be very, very difficult to win this much. But hey, I won 16 grand on a slot machine. Uh, and of course, they're going to ask me to leave. Uh, Can you say rigged? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a demo. We need to show these things. So, yeah, so he's asking me to, to leave. Um, they're happy to let you stay in the casino as long as you're spending money. They just don't want you gambling because obviously you're going to keep winning. Let's get to some shooting. Yes, I will jump forward now and I'll show you. Uh, we're going to kick some ass. So we have twice as many guns as Fallout 3 did. Um, we have several weapons from Fallout 3, but we have a whole lot of brand new guns. Some very, very big guns. Some guns that have lots of explosions to them. Um, we know what players like, and we're kind of tuning the guns to work better in real-time mode. A lot of players really like to use VATS, and we love VATS too. But a lot of players saw this, and you know, you show a game in first person where you're holding a gun, they expect to play it like a first person shooter. So we've tuned all the guns to work a little bit better in real-time mode. So I'm joining up here with the, the NCR, the New California Republic. Uh, and we're going in here to clear out a town called Nelson from uh, Caesar's Legion. Uh, the Legion is our, they're our evil group. I and mean, we don't really like to use good and evil because you can align yourself with anybody. But um, they're bad guys. They rolled in. They burned the town to the ground. They crucified the NCR officers that were there. Um, they're just not nice people. So real-time mode really does work a lot better now. We have iron sights for all our guns. 
We've redone all the attack and reload animations. But of course, we do still have VATS. And VATS is still a fantastic way to play the game. And of course, as I kill these guys, I'm, my reputation's going down with the Legion. They don't like it when you kill them. So I'm going to switch forward to another, another different weapon here. Uh, this is the anti-material rifle. This is a super, super powerful sniper rifle. It's very satisfying. Uh, you can actually modify all our weapons now. Every, every weapon can have three different mods to it. And there are things like adding a scope, adding a longer tube for more accuracy. So you can see that's the uh, crucifixes. Caesar's Legion, they are not nice people. Alright, so let's take out this guy. Got him good that time. I definitely did. Let's see if I can get you a nice headshot. There we go. And that's what you use VATS for. And so yeah, so that's just a really quick look at the game. Well, thanks a lot. My pleasure. Fallout New Vegas, look for it soon. It's all done, right? I uh, will be out in October. Are there going to be mutant showgirls? There are going to be showgirls. Uh, I can't comment on whether or not we'll have mutant showgirls, but yeah, there, there are definitely going to be some showgirls. Uh, there are going to be some exotic dancers, but yes, there will be interesting showgirls. There is no online. You know, there's no multiplayer. This oh, is uh, yeah, of, of course, but you know, I mean, today you never know. You know, something maybe you'll have an interaction or something like another character online. I mean, it, it's uh, it's certainly an interesting idea, but it's something we wanted to focus on a story, on a single player story, and really let the player kind of craft the world, almost just impact the world, and, and that's what, I think that's what we do well. Uh, I'd certainly be open to multiplayer at some point in the future, but given that we wanted to get the game done in, you know, you know less than two years, we... Which is quite, quite the feat. Yeah, we, we wanted to make sure that it was a really big game, making a really big, good, rich RPG, and tacking on multiplayer, I felt would have been a mistake. It probably would have weakened both. I don't think it would have been satisfying. Gotcha, gotcha. And now, speaking of satisfying, I mean, it looks pretty much, I mean, I don't know, percentage-wise, is it complete? I mean, are we almost ready to go with this? Uh, the build we have here is actually alpha. Uh, we are approaching beta one, so it's it's close, and now we're just focused on fixing bugs, polishing, making sure that it's as solid as possible. The character has an interesting backstory. He's, for the first time, not a vault dweller. He was not born in an underground uh, bunker. Uh, he's, he grew up in the Mojave Wasteland. He was a courier, and he was shot uh, in the head a couple of times, buried, presumed dead. This game, you don't leave from a vault. It starts with you getting shot twice in the head. Or in your character's case, you have two bullets put in your head. Dude, he puts two bullets in your skull. Mm -hmm. How does New Vegas start? New Vegas starts with you being shot in the head twice and dumped in a shallow grave. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I'm here with Jason Bergman, the uh, senior producer on Fallout New Vegas, and he's going to take us down the strip. Yes, so we're going to uh, show you uh, Fallout New Vegas here. Um, we're just going to load up a game, and we're going to show you the Las Vegas Strip uh, as reproduced in our world, or as we call it, the New Vegas Strip.